Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCB Arrow Labs. For more information and to download the source code of this video, please visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. Okay. So, in this video, we will talk about frequency modulation and we will give a brief theory of the frequency modulation and then we will learn how to simulate frequency modulation using Python. Okay. So, let's start. So when we talk about a modulation, so as we discussed in our earlier videos, modulation is a process in which some properties of the carrier signal changes in accordance with the message signal. As we seen in as we have seen in case of amplitude modulation, amplitude of the carrier wave changes according with the message signal. Now in this case of uh, the frequency modulation, the frequency instantaneous frequency of the carrier wave changes with respect to the uh, message signal so prior to going to the uh, simulation we need to extract some formula so let's say if a carrier wave is represented by this carrier ct ac cos this one is the uh, omega ct right this is the normal carrier wave and this particular is known as the theta or we can say the phase of the angle phase of the carrier wave so this theta c is this omega c t and if we take down this theta c by d and dt or we differentiate its phase we will get the frequency component of the carrier wave so as we discussed in this case we are trying to change the uh, frequency of the carrier wave that means this omega c now is not fixed to omega c instead of this omega c we will write like omega i which is represent as the uh, instantaneous uh, uh, frequency of the signal right so let's say uh, particular this is the case for the uh, frequency modulation only so this omega i will be simply omega c plus because it has to be changed with respect to massive signal so we can say it is kf into mass signal of mt so where this kf is known as the frequency sensitivity frequency sensitivity and generally it is uh, dimension r hertz by volt so now if we want to uh, get back to this uh, uh, equation or normal equation we need to extract the theta so theta will be simply the integration of omega i into dt that will be from 0 to t so if we write it like so this theta will be now if we integrate it it will be omega c t plus kf times integration of 0 to t of mt and dt so now the carrier wave will be reduced to like c of t ac into cos or whatever it is cos or sine omega c t plus kf times 0 to t mt dt okay so this is the equation of the frequency modulation so ultimately this frequency modulation is also comes under the category of the angle modulation because ultimately we are changing the angle but uh, in frequency modulation angle is changing with respect to the integration of the uh, massive signal now there are certain terms uh, which has to be identified like in frequency modulation our uh, instantaneous frequency is varying uh, around this omega c right because it is it could be plus omega c plus something or if a message signal is negative it will be omega c minus something so if we define this omega c as the center frequency right suppose this is the omega c then our instantaneous frequency can go to certain limits uh, to this omega c right so this omega c omega i instantaneous frequency could be omega c minus something and uh, it could be omega c plus some term so this term is uh, denoted as the delta f or the known as the delta omega times negative and positive 
एंड दैट इज दैट मीन्स ओमेगा सी माइनस डेल्टा ओमेगा और ओमेगा सी प्लस डेल्टा ओमेगा सो दिस डेल्टा ओमेगा इज नोन एज द फ्रिक्वेंसी डाइविएशन सो इट रिप्रेजेंट लाइक हाउ मच बाय वट अमाउंट इंस्टेंटेनियस फ्रिक्वेंसी इज वेरिंग और इज डेविएटिंग फ्रॉम द ओरिजिनल कैरियर वेव ओरिजिनल कैरियर फ्रिक्वेंसी सो दैट इज द फ्रिक्वेंसी डेविएशन and it is pretty obvious this uh, delta omega because it is the maximum frequency deviation uh, that will be simply uh, kf times of max uh, mt max that means whatever uh, it is simply directly uh, from this relation uh, from here, whatever will be the maximum value of this delta omega will be equal to this because this is the term which is providing this frequency deviation okay so uh, now let's uh, come back to uh, let's take an example or for a single tone modulation let's take uh, example for single tone modulation because we will be uh, simulating uh, this one only or oh, single tone modulation so as we discussed in single tone modulation what happens are modulating signal or the message signal is of single frequency or some sine wave okay so in let's say in omega c our message signal is uh, we have our message signal as am cos omega mt right so our instantaneous frequency will be simply omega c plus kf times into am cos omega mt and uh, now this delta omega will be simply kf into am because the maximum of this one message signal is this uh, kf into am so this omega i we can write this omega i as omega c plus delta omega times cos omega mt so i hope you are following it now uh, we want to check the instantaneous phase that is varying with respect to time it will be simply the integration of this omega i so it will be omega ct plus the integration of this cos omega mt term so this will be delta omega divided by omega m into sin omega mt so this will be a instantaneous phase for a single tone modulation so here is a term this particular term delta omega by omega m right so this delta by omega m is known as the modulation index and and it generally it is represented by beta so there are two categories of again two categories of uh, fm narrow band fm and wide band fm so if you go into the theory in book or in literature you will find a detailed description of it so finally a equation of the fm equation like if we write c fmt that will be simply ac cos omega ct plus beta times sin omega mt so this will be our final uh, frequency modulation signal equation in which this uh, frequency is changing with respect to time okay so i hope you followed it now we will move forward and we'll try to simulate it uh, on python okay so just so let's open python and let's first create a file okay and type in the name fm now we need to import some libraries so import first matplotlib matplotlib dot pyplot as plt so import right and then we need to import numpy as np and then import uh, from math import pi okay so as we do 
first we'll close all the open figures close all okay now we will generate a signal okay so we'll define our sampling frequency let's say we have our sampling frequency of 2000 hertz yep and let's say de uh, define time index so np a range and it will go from 0 to let's say of 0 0.5 second at a difference of 1 by fs right and then we'll define our signal frequency uh, let's say for fc the carrier wave so let's say a carrier wave is of 100 hertz and let's say define our signal frequency that is fm uh, let's say we have a 5 hertz signal signal frequency and then we will define a modulation index as from the derivation if we look at so it is direct multiplied by the modulation index so we will define it directly and uh, let's say b is equals to have 3 okay and we will uh, vary this b and we'll look how uh, it changes okay so okay so now let's generate this fm so the fm is simple fm signal will be np dot cos and then it will be 2 into pi into fc into t plus b times np dot sine 2 into pi into fm into t right yep so now let's plot it and then we will change it so plt dot plot um, t comma fm now let's run it first we have to save it fm modulation now let's run it uh, let's change the to one so that we can have sufficient number of cycles yeah uh, let's change it to 10 yes now it is becoming visible <coughs> right or we can have let's increase it to 15 we could have more yes okay so now let's change it to so plt dot title uh, it will be uh, frequency modulated signal right and then uh, plt dot x level time in particular seconds and then plt dot y level mm, amplitude uh, also let's uh, generate the uh, original sine wave on the same plot so uh, for that we need to generate the sine wave so let's generate the message signal as well that is sine 2 into pi into fm into t okay so this is our sine wave so let's plt plot t comma m and everything will remain same we only we have to only provide the legend uh, first signal is our FM signal and the other signal is message signal and I think we have to provide a comma in between so let's see let's hope everything goes fine okay it will be NP dot sign
uh, um, it is not looking like a sine wave what goes wrong let's see 2 pi fm into t and okay fm it is taking this one and these have the same variable okay so um, i have to frm change it to frm okay now yeah okay so uh, this is our fm modulated signal okay one more thing our original signal was cos not sine that is why there is a if you look carefully there is a phase shift of uh, minus 90 degree so we have to make it cos only then yeah so now if you look at carefully uh, you will find when highest frequency uh, at maximum uh, maximum of the message signal there is a frequency is highest and at the minimum of the message signal frequency has been spreaded so this is the frequency modulated signal in which instantaneous frequency is varying in accordance with the message signal or we can say with respect to the um, amplitude of the message signal. so all the information of the message signal has been encoded in the form of frequency okay so i hope you understand uh, uh, from this video how to simulate uh, frequency modulate signal in python the same way you can also do in matlab and one more thing how to change it or how to uh, what is the theory behind mass uh, frequency modulation so i hope that's it for this video and if you download the source code of this video you can visit us at our website that is www.jcbrlabs.org so that's it for this video Thank you.